The ninth-ranked Stony Brook football team traveled to Bailey Stadium in Clinton, South Carolina for Week 9's action against Presbyterian. And here are the highlights brought to you by Simplex Grinnell. First quarter action, Stony Brook punting from its own territory. Watch Jeremiah McKee muff the punt. It's going to be recovered by Christian Ricard at the 17-yard line. And then just three plays later, quarterback Kyle Essington to his favorite target, Kevin Norell. Hits him in the end zone, a 14-yard touchdown, and the Seawolves take a 7-0 lead. Later in the quarter, it's now 7-3 Seawolves when Essington and Norell would go right back to work. Here, Essington going to step up in the pocket and just drop it right into the arms of Norell. A 41-yard strike. They hook up for their second touchdown of the quarter. It's now 14-3 Stony Brook. Presbyterian would try to cut into that deficit on its next possession, but Devontae Anderson steps in front of Caleb Griffin's pass, picks it off, and takes it back 25 yards the other direction. And then after an eight-play drive, Miguel Masonette. Watch him take it outside, cut back inside, back to the outside, dive for the pylon, gets there from three yards out. It's 21-3, the Seawolves on top. Now down by 18, the home team needing some points. Griffin in the gun, hits McKee over the middle up to midfield, a 24-yard pickup. And then six plays later, tight end Joel Ruiz going to take it from the Wildcat and scamper in from eight yards out. It's now an 11-point game with five and change to play in the first half. But yet again, the Presbyterian defense just could not get a stop. Here's Marcus Coker just bouncing off tackles, plowing up the left sideline for 11 yards. And then more of the same from Essington and Norell. Here again on play action. Plenty of time for Essington to set up and unload. It's underthrown, but Norell makes the adjustment and just trots in his third touchdown of the first half. A 51-yard connection, and it's 28-10. Let's move ahead now through the third quarter. More from Marcus Coker. Going to take the handoff from Essington and just charge through the hole with a head of steam. This guy like a freight train just barreling down the field. A 58-yard run, his longest as a Seawolf. And then three plays later, deservedly, he would get the ball at the one-yard line and cross the plane. It's 35-10 Stony Brook early in the third. Then after a blue hose punt, watch this filthy juke by Masonette. Come on, man, that's just not fair. Into the open field, and then he's not done. Gonna cut back inside the 20 to the 10. Finally wrestled down at the two yard line, a 66 yard gain. And then he would finish off the drive with a one yard touchdown. Just continues to strengthen his case for the Walter Payton Award, which is given to the top player at the FCS level. But he wasn't done just yet. After a blue hose touchdown, cut it to 42-17. Here he goes again. Nearly breaks this one. He's horse collared down at the 43-yard line. And then seven plays later, it's Coker again cashing in from a yard out. His second touchdown of the game. Seawolves go up 49-17. They would add another touchdown later in the fourth. And for head coach Chuck Priori and the Seawolves, now 8-1 overall, 4-0 in the Big South. Big nights for both Coker and Masonette as they each rush for a pair of touchdowns and combine for over 360 yards on the ground. For receiver Kevin Norell, another enormous game with three touchdown catches all in the first half. The Seawolves return home next weekend to face VMI in their final regular season game at Laval Stadium at 6 p.m.